Hey guys. Okay, so unfortunately I have to make a couple of sympathy cards. So I was looking at this new stamp I just got. This is the Hero Arts Background Stamp Jellyfish. Jellyfish Party. Bold prints. I'm using some Distress Watercolor cardstock. And I think I'll just do... Let's do three of them. Try to do this fairly quickly. And I'm going to get my Tim Holtz stamping platform out. Make sure it's on the red rubber side. And the first thing I'm going to do is release my sticky grid. I am going to stamp on the smooth side. I think I want to go this way. Here. You know what? We're going to do the textured side because I never do that. And I think that will look better with this watercolor effect I'm going for. And I'm going to put the stamp like Okay. And because we have that sticky grid underneath, it'll hold it in place. Okay, I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool because I am going to do some heat embossing. Using Versamark. Because it's textured, you really want to press down and make sure that's gone through. I'm going to do it a couple times. It's hard to see because the ink is see-through, transparent. And I'm going to do it one more time. just do one for demonstration but then I'll go through and do the rest of these off camera all right so now I have this stamp I'm going to use this Brutus Monroe pearl embossing powder heat set that.
think that's pretty good. I have a little excess powder in the middle there, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this a couple ways. This one, the one I'm gonna do on camera, I'm just gonna use my new uh, watercolor markers. I've been having a lot of fun with these. These are the Altenew markers, the Kareen markers. So I'm gonna start with just kind of making this real simple and easy. The other two I'll do off camera, I will do with, um, ooh, brushos, yes. I think I'll use some brushos and some uh, mica sprays. But for this one, we're just gonna do the markers. So I'm just gonna spray it, make sure it's nice and wet. I'll go in and just kind of drop color where I think is, oh yeah, look at that, the outside between the jellyfish where I can see. This is Altenew Desert Night. It's kind of hard to see because that pearl embossing powder is so light, but that's okay. Because we're doing this wet on wet, the ink is going to move pretty freely. The embossing powder is raised, so it kind of builds like this safety wall, so I don't have to worry about it sinking too much where I don't want it. And if it does, that's all right, it's not gonna hurt anything. I could have used the stamp as reference, but that's okay. Just having fun, very free, very loosey-goosey here. Now there's no water there, so I'm gonna take my water brush and spread that around. Anywhere that the ink went that maybe you don't want it, just take a little paper towel and dab that out of there. Pen 
one is super juicy. I can always go back in and fill in any spots I miss. And then, let's see, I have this purple color, which is called Jellyfish. This is a Jane Davenport mermaid marker, which is pretty much the same thing. Oh, I missed this whole corner up here. I think I thought this was a jellyfish. Maybe it is part of the jellyfish. Well, now it's part of the water. We got most of it. Now I'm just going to go in with this and fill in some of my jellyfish. And I'll go in where there's not enough water and move these around in a minute. it with the Altenew purple wine which is more of a fuchsia color Starfish. That's like a hot pink.
we need some a little bit of like orange. We got for orange here. Sun kissed. There we go. And might as well go in. Mm. So I want more purple, more yellow. Let's go in and fill some of this water in some more. Now that I see these areas that should be blue that I missed, I'll go fill these in. Okay, we got two more to do. I think we'll do those in a purple color. What do I have for purple? Do we have a darker purple? Oh, this might be too dark. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna color this purple over here on the mat and then we'll bring it in. This might be a little brighter than I wanted it to be, but it's still pretty. Maybe I won't make a sympathy card with this one. I think all the colors are way too bright. Is really cool. A couple more spots where I can touch up the blue a little bit, but otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. But not my intention of having it come out this bright because now it just looks like a really fun card and not like a sympathy card. So I'm gonna have to try that again. Let's do something a little easier. I do like the watercolor look but I think I can go more monotone let's do this and I'm not going to do the heat embossing this time 
I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna use brushos this time. So this time I'm still gonna stamp it on the textured side because I still like the way that that looks. We're gonna stamp it with some Versamark. Versafine. Versafine Claire. make this kind of monotone. We're going to do this one with brushos. Let me heat set this. Okay, because that is a waterproof ink. Let me grab some brushes. Perfect. I don't even need to get any more. Those are what I need right there. Okay, so I have turquoise, Prussian blue, purple. Okay, I think this, this is all we need. There's a little lime green in there. I don't know that I'm going to need that. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. Pretty easy. Going to spritz this with my Distress Sprayer. And I'm just going to sprinkle on some colors. That one is turquoise. This is Prussian blue. Oh, you can already see it starting to activate. and some purple. All right, let's see. Do we wanna add a little bit of the lime green? And eh, maybe a shot here and there just to lighten it up. Okay, and now we're gonna spray it again. Get everything activate. Oh, I like that a lot. All right, now I'm gonna heat set it and kind of blot up some of that color, move it around a little. like the green and the purple, how they're showing through the blue. Let's add a little more green over here. much better much quicker much easier very muted but you can see the design so we'll have this colorful background but it's not too colorful and they can do a real simple uh, sentiment strip sympathy sip, sentiment strip on here right, 
I'm going to layer a little bit more color on this because I feel like it's a lot of green and blue up there. So I'm going to add a little more purple up here. And a little bit of the darker blue down here. better. I mean, I like both of them, but that one was just definitely quicker, easier, and I'm really not losing. I mean, this one's super bright. I think this will be a fun, like, birthday thinking of you kind of, hey, how's it going card, and the other one is more in line with sympathy card. And where I have these kind of big chunks of color, you can go in with the watercolor brush and just kind of loosen those up a little. and move them around a little bit. Yeah, so really simple. When you have these big, bold background stamps like that, they make really easy backgrounds. So take a look, which one do you like better? Do you like the one that's nice and bright that I colored in? Do you like the brush show one better? And I think I'm gonna go with this one for the sympathy cards. Let me know if you agree. I will link everything down in the comments in the description for you. Most of these products you can pick up in my Amazon store, so I will link that for you. If you have any questions about anything, don't, don't hesitate to ask. If you're not a subscriber, click the bu bubble to subscribe and the notification bell. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye guys.